Aries, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Let's get started. We've got to do the baseline, clarifiers, oracles, charms, the whole thing. What's going on, please? Show me Aries in their person. Show me Aries in their person. Show me Aries in their person. Like always, your person doesn't have to be a significant to other spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, or lover. It's whomever fits that particular dynamic as I'm describing it, which means it could be a family member or friend. Yes, it is read from the point of view of love, as these are technically general love readings. But yeah, take it as it resonates. There you go. There you go. That's it, really. Which reminds me, of course, take it resonates. Leave it as not. Reverse energies as it applies. Just because it says Aries in the title doesn't mean it's for you. It may not resonate at all because, again, these are general collective readings. Okay? It's not a one-to-one. -one. It's not private. So if it doesn't resonate at all, normal. Check your other placement. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Okay? Show me Aries, please. Show me Aries in the person. Show me Aries in the person. Show me Aries in their person. Okay. Show me Aries in their person, please. Show me Aries. We're going to start with your side, but as I just said, reverse those energies as you need to. Nine of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Hierophant. You know you're upset, honey. You're, you're, you're upset. You're upset. And it don't feel good. It don't look good because it's not. It doesn't feel good. Nine of Swords, you got stress. That's a lot of stress, baby. Four cups, forget about it. That tells me it's 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 been like this for a minute. You're upset. You're showing me signs of distress. Upsetness, I don't know if it goes into anger, but bare minimum, it's a certain kind of personal anguish and it hurts. And then you're showing me the hair font, so I know it's legit. Uh he's kind of an officious guy. He doesn't like showing all this. You know. But you are showing me a kind of higher self in all this. Okay, let's see who's surrounding you, if at all. Death. Okay. 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 King of Pentacles. Okay. It makes me wonder why I'm saying it then. King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Oh, that's why. Okay. 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 Ace of Pentacles could be there's an offer around you. It's either ongoing, as in contractual work. In other words, there's something already in play, and it's a really good offer, so we keep it going. Could be a brand new opportunity in work. I don't know. That could have your preoccupation. I was wondering, I'm going to tell you, honey, right now, I was already this close to starting yours over because I didn't see the point when I put theirs down, because as far as I can tell, they withdrew their energy. Um, I, somebody did. Somebody somewhere said it's over. Uh, and I was like, okay, let's restart this because I don't see why, I, unless we're still getting through it. <laughs> you know, I don't see the reason to keep it. And then I'm like, oh, okay, on the shared. So for those of you who don't want to hear about it, uh, bye. Uh, for those of you who want to stick around, there is some sort of proposal from somebody somewhere to work things out. Three of Pentacles. What that Three of Pentacles looks like, I don't know. But it's on a slow track in that direction. And I mean slow. <laughs> But nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless, there seems to be some sort of concept of, of constructive effort. Three of Pentacles, bare minimum. Can we get along for a second so we can do something? Some sort of constructive effort. Friendship. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a look. See, starting with your general overview is the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Let's take a look at that. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, i.e. the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay. You show me I got this. You do. You're showing me you got this. Not every day feels great. I know. Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords. There is this saying here. It's like, I got this break. I got it. I can recover from it. I'm going to make new opportunities for myself. Right? I'm determined. So I see something before you that looks like a pentacle. And it is coming across as 3D as in the real viable world here with the Five of Pentacles. Some of you are in recovery mode from financial break and or loss, and you've been doing well with the Six of Wands, and you're like, I got to keep this going. I'm determined to keep this going. I'm determined to keep this going. And uh, you've done a job of it, and it's been steady. It's been steady, or you're trying to get it to be more fruitful than where you last left it. I hate that it's so vague. That's frustrating me. I want to clarify that further. 
if there was job loss, you're recovering from it. If there was financial loss, I see you recovering from it. It's kind of like the opportunities of what I make, that, which is a good disposition to have. I agree. There's a certain level of confidence coming from you, knowing that you have been able to resolve a great deal, that you can put your best effort or mind into something and make results happen, no matter how difficult or egregious. Cool. You have a very strong sense of recouping efforts. There's nothing I can't handle, so long as I put the best of myself into it, and that gives you a certain level of confidence. So I'm happy to see that you are gravitating towards those opportunities that will allow you to expand yourself further in your 3D world, recover, and more than recover, we want you to thrive, right? It's not enough to survive, we want you to thrive. And that's showing up in the terms of uh, every day you do a little better, and every day your confidence gets a little stronger. So I don't know what it is that you're participating in that's giving you that energy, but I like it. It seems to suit you, okay? And you've done a job of really making that pentacle energy work for you in terms of recovery and expansion. Okay. Um, it's good trying to keep something stable, prosperous, and recover. Okay. They're reflecting on that. And it's a good reflection. It's curious. So for those of you who've gotten the new jobs, congratulations to you. For others of you who have managed to just recover coin in the general sense because of job loss. You're on that track. Okay? Keep on keeping on. It's really good. I know it's a general overview, but that's technically what the general overview is. Now, let's see you on the more personal level. Nine of Swords. Let's see that Nine of Swords, please. Let's see that Nine of Swords. Let's see that Nine of Swords for you. What's all that stress about, honey? What's, 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 what's with all the upset? I don't know why I'm asking you that. You're about to show me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Show me that Nine of Swords, please. Show me that Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. Knights of Wands. Six of Cups. Oy. Stress. 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 Wow. Block. I didn't just block, but you, you, you had to fight very hard to keep boundaries in place between you and somebody. Uh, and it was not easy. It caused you a great deal of stress. Uh, you're showing me you put up a heck of a fight. Uh, you put up a heck of a fight about an energy that, as far as I can tell, was very agreeable to you. Um, <laughs> it's You had passion for this, whichever it is. The Six of Cups, some sort of soul ba uh, soulmate and or soul bond is someone who represents the past, bare minimum, nostalgia, memories, time spent, uniqueness between two people. The precious uniqueness, if you will. And, uh, oh boy, it was hard, really hard, you're saying, Christina, to fend this off. Now, why you felt you had to fend it off, I don't know, but it was very, it was very strong. The passion was in place. You had a very strong energy towards this. Um, sweet memories. It's just a sweetness attached to that energy. But passion, too. Very strong sense of passion towards that, whomever is that uh, energy. And it, it caused you stress to deflect it. It caused you stress to, to have boundaries around it. It was hard. You're saying it was very hard, Christina. <laughs> it was very hard to maintain boundaries with this energy. <laughs> I can see that. You know. To not run away with it. To not allow them to run away with you. To, to not cross certain boundaries. You said it was very hard to not cross those boundaries. And it caused you a great deal of stress because what you feel for it was quite natural. This is very natural. You can't get more natural than that. Smooth as silk, right? And that's why it stressed us out to be firm with it because the energy was a little too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It was a little too natural. It was a little too easy for me to feel this way about you. And the way I felt about you is that I wanted to be right there. Doing more than hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> so it that that's ah, the stress right so what what's 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 the gig man what's the gig because uh, that's active that's 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 active participation in 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 uh, firm so it's not that you did it unconsciously I, pe I see people unconsciously block shit all the time this was active it was active <laughs> you actively had to do this you you knew that you did this this was not unconscious blocking at all um it was very forward i have to be aware of this at all times, that kind of thing. Let's see that four cups, please. 
of four cups and it was disappointment 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 or you felt that they blocked your effort i just don't see it that way i don't feel like that's the case honey it feels like you felt test test to keep firm boundaries in place and do not cross lines do not cross lines do not cross the lines uh, it's like Ghostbuster said, don't cross the streams. It's like, I can't cross the stream. Let's see that four cups, please. Like I said, that's that's active. You are very aware of this. Hyper aware of it, I suppose. So let's see that four cups, please. The two of pentacles, I don't know what to do. Five of swords, page of pentacles. There's a little bit of self-sabotage here. Uh, by saying, I don't know what my feelings are. That was kind of a, that was kind of a fib. It was kind of a fib to yourself. I don't know why. You're kind of like, I don't know what my feelings are, when in fact you did. So the Five of Swords automatically means the opposite's true. Uh, the more we have to tell ourselves X, Y, Z, usually the opposite of X, Y, Z is true. So you saying, I don't know what my feelings are and I don't know why I'm upset. The opposite's true. You know exactly what your feelings were and you did know what you wanted to do with it. But for some reason, you were not allowing that investment to come through. Now, I see the act of resistance. Consciously, you knew you were resisting it. Consciously, you knew you were not crossing the streams or crossing boundaries. That was very, and it caused you stress to do it. But the thing is, is you're telling me you're upset and you don't know why. Now, that's where the falseness kicks in. I'm upset. But am I upset? I mean, I, I probably shouldn't be. I knew I was resisting this. I knew I was resisting it. So why would I be upset? I can't be upset. I knew I was resisting it, right? And that's a form of fallacy. It's a form of control. If I consciously accept that I'm resisting this and I know I'm not going to give in to it or cross the boundaries, I have no reason to be upset. I understand that, honey. It's a very clever form of saying I'm not hurt. Right? If we do a little bit of reverse psychology in ourselves, eh, we can get by, you know? I knew I was blocking this. I knew it. The, the energy, Christina, just like you said, it was a little too smooth for me. <laughs> I had passion for this, and I'm connected to this person, possibly at the soul level. It feels a little too good. I have to resist it. I can't cross the... You keep saying you can't cross the boundaries. And I understand that was important to you. And it, it, fine. You you were on board with you when, you when you consciously blocked the actual physical output. Cool. But you were not on board with you. When you said, I'm upset and disappointed by this connection, and I don't know why. There's nothing I can do, so why should I be upset? You're upset because it meant something to you. <laughs> That's why. So I, I understand. It shouldn't be a surprise to me that I'm upset by this, Christina. Connection's fucked, or it's lost, or it's... I don't know what happened with it. I have no reason to be upset. I knew what was going on. No, you did. Uh, you did. Um, a big part of that is frustration and saying, I don't know how to invest in this. I don't know what to give to it. That part was false. Um, there's some part of you that could have invested in this in some way. Uh, and it's upset that you couldn't give more to it or didn't give more to you or it didn't. Is that why some of you are upset? You had hoped maybe that they would cross the boundaries. That way you wouldn't have to. That's for some of you. Not all of you. It just hit me a certain fun. I mean, I think I just showed it on my face, right? I'm not. I don't have a very good poker face. So for some, it, 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 I'm not gonna lie. It crossed my mind. Some of you might be upset that they didn't forcibly cross the the boundaries so that you wouldn't have to. You had kind of hoped that they would have. They did it. That they would do it. That they would step over the line so that you wouldn't have to. Because I see very, I told you consciously, I mean, it's there. It's It was very distinctly there. And then you're pretending that you're not upset that something didn't happen. And it's the physical energy, too. No matter how small. Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. We low-key kind of hoping, not really, but low-key hoping that they would cross the line. They would do something. It's interesting. And I see this as an echoing thought. It's an echoing feeling. In other words, the disappointment's already in play. So it's kind of like a disappointment that it didn't happen, that something, quote unquote, didn't happen. You already made your actions clear, so there couldn't have been any confusion about what it is you could have done unless you were hoping that they would do something, but you couldn't admit it to yourself. Make sense? I'm not picking on you. Once more, if you're unfamiliar with my work, my channel, or my personality, I've been getting an increase in that. People coming around, they don't know who the hell I am or what I'm about. Hi, my name is Christina. I do real tarot. 
and I have a psychological background. So I can actually see things like this. <laughs> um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what it is I think you want to hear in order to generate views. If I did, I'd probably have a million subscribers by now, but I don't. Uh, so it's at this point where, again, real terror is real life, and I'm looking at a real human being here, and these are the things that happen sometimes. If any of this offends you, this is where we need to part ways. I believe strongly you should not watch anything that you know you're not prepared for or will upset you and you dang well know it. So there's no reason to sit there and grind your teeth about a real human experience that either A, does not apply to you, or B, it does and it makes you uncomfortable. And there's some of you that just really like to learn and you're open, which is awesome. But it's when I see rough stuff like this and I see a real human doing real human shit that everybody gets really upset. So I'm going to reiterate this. You don't have to be here. That's it. I love all my collectives. I love Aries. Okay. The cards are the cards. And for those people who are really strongly in denialsville, you're just going to say, hey, the whole thing is reversed. Cool. Crosswatchers are the same. I've heard it all. And so for those of you who actually want to stick around and learn some real shit, let's keep going and see what we can see here. Okay? The hair fence. I'll tell you, honey, my core... Aries Collective, you're like, what? Yeah, no, I've been seeing an increase in the stupidness. I just, people who are just wandering in, they're brand new, and it's, I, I like when people are new, but I know what they're used to saying, and I'm not giving them that, and then it creates this, this tension that I'm just being mean doing my job. <laughs> but, like, other people don't do it that way. You're supposed to blame the other person. Hi, my name's Christina. Welcome to Real Tarot. Some of that hair front, please. 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 Yeah, well, people ask me, how come you don't have a million subscribers? Because I don't kiss everybody's ass. <laughs> you think I haven't been through shit like this? When you go through crap like this, you can either absorb it and learn from it, that way you'll never do it again, or you can be like, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. And then we do it again, and again, and again. Because lessons can be repeated, and they will be. Okay, there's that three of pentacles showing up. Consistency, guys. That's all I want to see is an alignment with our efforts, what we're doing, and why we're doing it. The Hierophant, I got you with your higher self, so that's nice. Can there be a friendship? Can I work it out? There's a lot of confusion here, so I don't know if it's going to happen. The insight's kind of small, I'm not going to lie. Page of Swords, the Two of Swords. But we are contemplating a possibly constructive effort to do something. And I will see more of what that something is over here at the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, but it, there's a mild, it's like a very mild suggestion. And I'm talking super mild. There's no heat in this suggestion. There's no spice. There's no flavor. This is like, um, I'm sorry, I'm from the South. I'm in Texas, and I, I actually enjoy food. <laughs> so when I go to, like, say, a Tex-Mex restaurant, and it's actually just Tex-Mex for white people, in other words, it has no flavor, you know. This idea is here, but it's like the most basic structure without flavor. So I don't know how far this is going to go. This is something you need to figure out if it's actually conducive to you and your goals. Because here's the, there's a proposal here within you, and it's a serious one with the Hierophant. But it has no flavor in terms of bringing this into reality. More insight's going to be needed. If you think that something's buildable here, something salvageable, let's call it salvageable. A salvageable something at the cooperative level, let's call it friendship. Then we will expand upon this and hopefully add some layers to it. Because right now I can't see any emotional value attached to this. It's something that's being pitched around the table. But it's a very light pitch. And like I said, it doesn't have too much flavor or heat on it for me to understand if this is what you really want to do. Or try. Okay? And if it's not, it's not. I just know that it's on your mind a little bit. But it is going to require more insight. Okay. No, I love my Aries, and I know that you guys have been going through a rough spot. Trust me, I've seen it. And I want to get you back into your, your glory energy, if you will. And you will. One day. One day. They all go through this. 
Honey, even Taurus has miracle breakthroughs on occasion. And those guys rarely get that. They just had one. And you'll, you will too. You will triumph once more. I know you will. Mm. It's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when to me. Okay. But until then, we have realistic tarot to read. All right. Let's see that. Let's see that death. Let's see that death. <laughs> Let's see that death, please. And if you're my Aries fan club, if you're my real deal, you're chuckling. Because you know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's up. Show me death, please. Let's see that death. The Knights of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords... Ooh, yeah, their energy is a lot sharp. It's very sharp. It's very firm. Mm. Uh, they see the Nine of Swords. You both reflect it. You both reflect the stress. And there's something about it. They said that this is going nowhere and they killed it. It's very sharp. It's not nice. Um, there might have been some harsh words from this person. As far as I can tell, those words were honest, but they were nonetheless sharp. Um, they they came to this conclusion that it was going nowhere and that the stress was for nothing. They had a lot of stress in them too with the Nine of Swords and with the Queen of Swords. It's kind of like I'm removing my emotions from this, whatever those was. I haven't seen their feelings yet. I haven't. I see a reflection on it and the resistance of it. And here's the thing. They they had the resistance too. They had the resistance too. They, they had a sim You two had a similar goal. Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the boundaries. <sighs> But uh, there's something in this person. Death is the baseline here. Knight to Pentacles. Not only is this slow, it's like the pain's dragging out unnecessarily between two people. It's it's just being dragged out. And so, yes, there's harshness here with the Queen of Swords. The King Queen of Swords aren't really known for mincing words. They kind of just get things done, even if they don't like it. And it may not be this person's natural disposition. It may not be their natural energy. But that's what they slipped into in order to do this. Um... So no, it's not pretty. If you resisted it, so did they. Again, you both had this agreement to not cross the lines, but here's the thing that it's like, then why am I in this? It's kind of like that. It's, we have the same struggles. We're resisting the same shit. What are we... What's the point? It was harsh. It was harsh. Seven of Cups. I'm no longer an option in love, or I don't know. But... Uh, death is over that. Let's see this person's feelings, please. Let's see that seven of cups. Let's see that, uh-oh. Let's see that seven of cups, please. Let's see that seven of cups. Let's see that seven of cups. And I better not be hearing no damn cross-watchers in the comments saying, that's right, that's right, I ended it, I killed it. Why are you cross-watching? You ain't killed nothing. You ain't over it. You still need to deal with your shit, too. You don't realize how hypocritical they are in the comments. And we see hundreds of them every day. I left them three years ago. I'm over it. You are still cross-watching. Still telling me that you're in pain and you want them to be as well. Yeah, it sounds like you went a long way. Oh, man, really, I swear to God, I think people watch tarot just to see the worst for others, but I can't lose. I can't give into that. I can't give into that cynicism. I can't. I can't. It's tempting, but I can't give into that cynicism. Because I've seen people do amazing things. I've seen them do miraculous things. I've seen them change their energy, change their ways, make different decisions. I've seen people do it, and it just... <sighs> okay, so, you know, it's hard. It's hard sometimes. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Hanged Man. All I see from this person is that they are... A very strong individual, strong willed, strong mind, but they've suspended all activity in terms of making decisions. Um, and they are just having a very strong think about their feelings in this whole thing. A bit of a mix here, mixed review of feelings. I feel this way about this situation or this person, and a uh, variety of feelings here, and they're examining them all. They're leaving no stone unturned, but they're doing it privately. As far as I can tell, their communication as well as their feelings have been completely withdrawn, but they're also in a period of reflection. Okay? That's all I really have from this person. So that tells me that they're an active thinker, and that's good. Uh, and it does good to reflect on these things. And that's all I see them doing, what they're learning. What they're learning about themselves, 
the insight literally they're gaining on themselves the insights on their feelings towards you this the whole thing okay let's see that king of pentacles please let's see that king of pentacles show me that let's see that king of pentacles please let's see that king of pentacles Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, okay, Two of Cups, okay. It may not seem like it. <clears throat> it may not seem like it. It might seem like a, a shot in the dark. It might seem like the stupidest fucking thing, but they're saying from a place of comfort and knowing who they are, that they are comfortable with who they are, that they're intuitive. And they feel, honestly, that they could work through things with you so long as there's love behind it. And it doesn't have to be in love, guys. We've got to get outside that box. The Two of Cups it could be anything. The idea is it's my cup and your cup. And what's in between those and how we share them is, is between us. Just so long as we're on the same page in terms of intent. And that's what they seem to care about. They seem to have a high sense of productivity. Back here they said they ended it because it doesn't seem to be productive. You have the same amount of stress to both of you. You both have the same sort of, we're just doing what we can to keep our hands off each other energy. Let's call it for what it is. Um, but uh, they're like, this is ridiculous. So they've done some time, take some time out to reflect upon them. But they're actually saying they know themselves and having given it a great deal of thought, intuitively they honestly feel they could work through things with you. Just so long as they understood that there was some emotional quality here that was par for course or close to this so again if it's like if i can say i love you or our connection enough that i can work through this they're saying i mean it they just need to hear it from you too or rather not just hear it but know that you mean it in that same way again doesn't have to be in love it's just so long as us working through it quote unquote with the eight of pentacles here so long as it comes from a place of love for me and you, then that means I can trust it and I will put myself into it. But if it doesn't come from a good feeling between us, then forget about it. It's kind of like that. And uh, you're just over here like three of pentacles, question mark. I know that you have a strong feeling towards it with the Hierophant. So you need to figure out if that constructive effort is something that you can do. Or if you have any sort of feeling in this at all. Otherwise, you're just constructing for the sake of it, and that's no good. Okay. It can't be neutral. There has to be some sort of real, genuine, authentic feeling in you that comes from a good, positive place. Otherwise, there will be no point. Okay. Uh, and I don't just mean that for their sake. I mean that for yours. Don't build something blindly, because you will not know what the hell you're putting into it. And then you'll get more mixed results or uneven results or... A sense of things not being correct and we've already had enough of that haven't we I can see where you two started out as equals all right regardless of what they did there's just a twist in you a twist in you that says I wish they had done something I wish they had crossed that line but it's something you can't seem to recognize yet and if you kind of low-key always are gonna hope for that instead of of building through feeling the same way this person is, it's just going to create more negativity, and I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anybody. It defeats the purpose. Um, so again, we need to question further about why we're even contemplating, no matter how mildly, any sort of reconstructive efforts. We need to understand what our motivation is behind it and what we want to get from it, and also what we generally feel for it. Okay? Okay. Let's keep cracking. King of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and perhaps you two are best served as friends. I don't know. I, I can see the conflict that was raised and you both trying to resist it. Desiring it, resisting it. <laughs> to their credit, they've done a lot of work. Okay? And there's some things in you I want you to understand before we even have any sort of concept whatsoever about a Three of Pentacles here, because I don't want there to be any more heart. Especially if you're someone who's already identifying as having to do a job of recovery as is. Okay, in your 3D world, monetary, stuff like that. Um, and perhaps that should be your focus right now. Okay. I don't want you to blindly put stuff into this. if Because uh, it doesn't look like you blindly put anything into your 3D world. The same with going to this. This you seem to have a strong idea of what constitutes recovery. 
this, you're like, if you're going to try to recover or salvage anything for it, you need to understand why. That's it. That's all I'd have you do. So just take that as a reflection. What you do in one area of your life can easily translate to the other. I just want it to make sense to you. That's all. Okay. King of Wands, please. Let's see that King of Wands. Show me that King of Wands. Let's see that King of Wands, please. Show me that King of Wands. Show me that King of Wands, please. Strength. Seven of Swords. The world. Mm. Yeah. Um, somebody here is showing me that they uh, didn't do anything about the cycle closing. Um, they avoided it. And it was done so under the name of strength. I will not talk about this. I will not react to it. That's a lot of I'm not going to react or refuse to react or refuse to participate. Um, so the you with him. But there's a King of Wands and Strength. Okay. Seven of Swords, the world. Here we have the proposition of the ending, and somebody avoided it. They didn't want to confront it, and they said it took strength of will to do this. I don't want to confront it. I'm actively avoiding this. Um, this was a case of non-confrontation. It could be that somebody's pride was affected, and they felt that they shouldn't have to respond. I'm going to disagree with that, uh, as there are misconceptions on both sides. So, in fact, when we pull the, well, I'm just not going to dignify that with a response. Sometimes it works when you know you're dealing with an asshole. Then you don't want to give anybody the dignity of response. It's like, you are not worth my time and energy and effort. This has the feeling of, because my pride's been affected by this, I'm just going to act like I'm, I'm not going to acknowledge the ending at all. I'm just not going to, you know. There's something that's like, I don't have to explain myself or something like that. Uh, I'm seeing pride used in a not great way here. It's not too egregious, but it did get in the way of somebody addressing this ending or cycle or speaking up for themselves or having some sort of say it was not said or addressed so things are kind of hanging off the cliff if you will and it's it's a really uncomfortable fucking cliff but you know it's that that sense of i'm not going to say anything and that's how i'm going to show i'm strong on the contrary it had the opposite effect seven of swords automatically applies i can't handle it so i'm not gonna now, I don't know who that is, but whoever said, because of my pride, I refuse to acknowledge the ending of this cycle. It was actually, I don't know how to handle it, so I'm not going to. Seven of Swords. And I'm going to say it's because I have too much pride or dignity to respond to this. Okay? Don't know who's who. You get to figure it out. All right, the Three of Pentacles, please. But I can tell you this, that's the background noise that suggests, yeah, there's there's unresolved shit here, to say the least. You know. Cliffhangers are interesting in television, but they're not so great in real life, you know? Alright, let's see that three of pentacles, please. Let's see that three of pentacles. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Let's see if we better understand if we actually have something to put into this constructively. Um Ooh, okay, let's see that Three of Pentacles, please. The Fool, the Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, there is a willingness to open here, and I don't want the Eight of Cups to discourage, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. Eight of Cups over the Queen of Cups, that's like saying my heart's no longer on the line, but because I love myself or I love this connection... I'm willing to open up towards it. Okay. So there's, it could be you dealing with a water sign because that's a very water sign thing. I'm not emotionally available to this anymore or I'm no longer in love with it, but I'm here representing myself because my heart, my heart says I love myself and I love this connection. So therefore I'm going to respect it. Um, you know, so I don't know who that is, but they are saying, yes, I'm willing to open up towards this. If it means reconstructive effort, I do believe it's this person because they showed me to quote-unquote work through this. In other words, I'm not a co-worker to you. I'm not someone that you have to force a balance with. I'm either someone you can work with constructively because it means something to you and it means something to me too. That's what it feels like it's coming from. Whoever has that assignment of intuition and feeling. 
Uh, but yeah, they're saying they're showing up, but they're just, they're not showing up in that way. There will be some emotional distance from this person. But again, it's right here. They're saying I choose to show up by choice, and what I choose to put into it is based on the fact that I know myself, I love myself, and I do love you. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm in love with you anymore, or that I'm available in that way anymore. But I do love you. See what I'm saying? Big difference. It's hard for people to understand. It's like they think two of cups, you have to be in love. No, you don't. You can have feelings for someone and not be in love with them. And I, I wish people understood that. It's like, think about it. Do you really put good effort into something that you love or that you don't love? See what I'm saying? So I know that there's still love here. They're just saying, I can't put that side of me forward anymore. But here is the most sincere part of me that is showing up to this. So yeah, the, the answer is, yeah, there's a three of pentacles here that's possible, for sure. The fool, someone's open towards it. I see you contemplating it. Let's see that knight of pentacles, please. Let's see that knight of pentacles, please. Why you two were so adamant about not crossing the lines? I don't know. I'm not going that far back in the past. I already do enough of the past as it is. I don't really care. I just want to jump into where it is now. Besides, if they resonate with this, you already know why you two. Uh, there's a good... I'll just say it for what it is. One of you was in a relationship. One of you... Um, just felt really good about the connection, but you couldn't give yourself more to it being in a relationship or not. Um, you know, uh, so, I mean, again, it's like I, I, or I felt good in this energy, but I didn't necessarily want to put my heart on the line or put myself out there. Um, you know, somebody could have been overly contracted in some part in their life and they just didn't have the time to get involved. Some you two could be at a distance for all I know and somebody is constantly like, I want to engage in this because I'm curious and I need a break from my own life, but I don't actually want to take it seriously. You name it. It could be anything like that. So you get to, you, you already know. You already know. You already know. Okay? You already know. This is why we can't cross the line. That's, that's it. You already know. Let's see that Knights of Pentacles, please. Of course, I started eliminating the past, and now people complain they want it back. <laughs> and when I read the past, it's like, you stay in the past too long. Yeah, I agree, actually, because most people will show me their past elements anyway. <laughs> in some way, to some extent, they typically do. Okay, there it is again, the Three of Pentacles, three times now. Let's see if there's any more flavor on it. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried, guys, and I don't fucking want to. Life is already weird and interesting and complex enough as it is. Do I really need to make up anymore? <laughs> no, we do the real shit around here. Now, let's see if there's any more layer to that. I want to see some flavor. Because if you're going to do it, do it properly. That's me. I have that thing that's like, you're going to do it, do it properly. Mm. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, okay. But here, I'll tell you why. Um, whoo. Oh boy. You know, I would just say if we have that proposal, it looks like unfinished business that somebody feels that they have to take care of. And well, I did ask for more flavor, didn't I? <laughs> it looks like we got it. <laughs> that that might be a little too much flavor. Uh, you know, I just don't want it to go into that bad place. And it's looking like the devil's coming up because of unresolved issues that are not sitting well. I did see somebody say I'm not going to dignify this ending with a response when really it was an avoidance tactic. Um, and that's not going to sit well. That's not going to sit well. It might have worked for the short-term game, but it didn't help with the long-term game. Not when there's unresolved issues you know and it's rolling up on somebody hard that they want to forge some sort of friendship here because they're feeling a huge pressure to do so um and they feel a huge pressure to do so somebody's energy is like yeah i'll show up for this i'll take a chance for it just as long as you know it's coming from a good place and feeling and uh, I'm not quite sure where that devil's kicking in, but it feels a little possessive in the respect of this is mine, or I'm supposed to do this. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't want this friendship to go into a patternized place. That's my point. It sucks. Uh, I don't want it to, whatever this is. Like I said, it's got to come from somebody's higher self, and they also have to know what they can put into it because they feel it. Not because they feel they have to. 
um, not because it's quote unquote the right thing to do. You know, because he can get caught up in that. It's the right thing to do to try to work it out. Well, if you have no feeling for it, then no, it doesn't. Okay, if all this connection was, was just you fending off the good natural feeling because we're terrified to cross those lines and it didn't amount to much more than that, then you have your answer right here. Because I don't want it to go into a bad place and I don't want this to become a, a pattern friendship of I'm attracted to this, but I can't give myself to it. I'm a, then, then, then nobody wins. All I can see are the possibilities, so... It's one thing when we feel we have to drive ourselves towards something to give it some sort of resolve, but I can't see, I, d I believe, honey, I can't see your heart space in this. I can't. I don't know if it's because it scares you or because it draws you in so much or because you have such an outstanding history of, of denying it. Um, I just, I can't see what you want from it. Other than the fact that you should probably do something. I don't know what that is, and I don't know if that's good enough. I don't know if that's good enough for you. Or whatever this is. You know. And you might have a strong feeling that it is yours. And the soul bonds have a way of doing that, you know. The soulmates, the soul bonds, it has a way of making it feel like it's ours. Because in a way it is. It's part of your soul tribe. But it's not enough to hold on to somebody or something just because you feel like it's it's yours. You have to know what you want from it. Otherwise, there is no real constructive effort here. They're showing me a willingness to do an Eight of Pentacles with you based on good feeling. Okay? Their love may not be on the line anymore, but it doesn't look like you really wanted that. Or maybe you did want that, but you were so busy fending it off. Perhaps you didn't know you wanted this person's heart. Perhaps you didn't know you wanted their feelings or their sex. You know, how much you wanted it because you were so busy being like this with it. I don't know. And to be honest with you, I still don't know that you know what you want from it. Is it possible for friendship? Yeah. Is it also possible for you to slip into some weird pattern with it? Because you don't quite know what you want to get from it? Yeah. I don't want you to do anything that you're not really ready to do okay you got to know that you want it you got to know what you're going to do with it um kind of like how you showed me recovery over here you had a plan for that and you've been doing great with it it's the same with this you have to be prepared to know what you want to get from it otherwise they are showing me an openness to try they are okay okay Regrets. I wish things could have been different. Mm. Blind. This was the real thing. I know that now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you wanted them to do a little bit more than just cross the line. I think uh, whatever that is to you, again, it's not a judgment. I really don't know what that is and why you had such heavy lines, the both of you. You both acknowledged it right away. Decision, waiting. Third time having passed. Passion changed. And it became love. Okay. It started out as passion, didn't it? It's okay. 
that's usually how it goes. <laughs> Human beings have a tendency to live through their eyes first. I'm not saying it's right, but it is extremely common. Um, yeah, started out as attraction. It transformed into love over time. I think whatever it is your initial goal was with this, I'm attracted to it. So I want to find a way to fit it, but without going overboard with it. I think that's how the dynamic started. And then it transformed, possibly unintentionally, over time into love. So that's why a friendship, you don't know if it will do. You're right. If that's all it can be, when you know you have a kind of a a gaping heart where you're always going to want more from it, then say no you don't. Then perhaps friendship is the impossible task. I just know you feel pressured to do something. You feeling pressured to do something isn't going to resolve itself today. And I don't know what the future will hold for you in the long term. I'm trying to look at short term energy, closer to the upfront. But I have to agree with you, I don't think a friendship's going to do. You owe, the both of you opened up with tension. And a relationship cannot be based upon what it is you're both trying to deny at the same time. The whole point of building a relationship is to say what you can both give and afford each other. And not what you can eliminate, take away, or resist from. The whole point of having a relationship is to see how, more, how far it can go in the right ways. And not how much you can take away from it or act like it's not there. So yes, perhaps in your, your, vo your view is correct. This person told me that they can. Because they seem to love you or the connection. In a way that suggests I can separate my in-love energy from my effort. And that's admirable. That's admirable. That's not something everybody can do. But they actually showed me that they really believe this. They feel it. And they intuitively feel it. I believe them. I do. They said they can separate their in-love energy from their working love energy with you. In other words, I'm putting something into this because I love me and I love you. Maybe not like that. Maybe not anymore. My heart's not on the line anymore. But I can't put real... And if you can't do that, honey, it's not a competition. If you can't, you can't. I can't. I wanted to see your feelings. I wanted to see your feelings. And the most you showed me straight away is that I have to resist this. Christina, I have to resist it. But yes, what started out as passion, fast forward a little bit, grew into love, or the proposal of new love. And I, I wanted to see where it was coming from. Because friendship's good enough for you? Or because you want more at the heart of it? And I think you want, I know you want more at the heart of it. It's hard. And then we try to do that thing where we compromise what we really feel and call it friendship and that never, that never works, does it? Even I know that and still get caught up in knowing that it wasn't going to work, right? Everybody get caught, gets caught up at least once. You get one. It's the weird sort of Spider-Man. What does the Spider-Man say? Everybody gets one? Is that what he says? I don't know. I'm not really into that stuff. But it's true. Everybody gets that at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Calling something for what it is. Everybody goes through it at least once. I swear to God. And but we know it, it can't. We just know it can't. But part of us, we got to try as human beings. Because that's just how we are, honey. That's just how we are. Okay. Uh-oh. No, you don't. Stuck. Feeling stuck. Ghosted in reverse. Or should I come out of ghosting? Ghosting in reverse. Should I unghost the situation? Yes, it's possible. Obviously, if you can ghost someone or ghost a situation. I did see that Seven of Swords. Uh, I'm going to avoid this. And it made us feel stuck ever since. I know that's because we didn't represent our energy very well. I know. Somebody didn't. And they've been feeling stuck ever since. Um, yes, you can. If you can ghost the situation, you can unghost it. And that's what you're contemplating. And I was like, I need to see more flavor from you. And it's like, honey, and I understand that. I want to have it all or nothing at all. And I think 
you know that to have it all with this, you'd have to be more than friends with it. Um, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Wands, I know. There is that concept of renewal here. I know. Um, it is possible. All things are possible. Sometimes it just, it takes more time. Cycles, completion. Closed it off, opening it up. You two might have danced around this subject before, in other words. But I do say that change, however, is still needed. Let's abide by our north node and find our purpose. Okay. Oh, I'll do one of these. I, I can't... Create space for it to happen sooner. So if you want it in your life, you have to create room for it. Okay, you have to know that you want it, make room for it, do the appropriate things that you need to do in order to have it. For some of you, August, last August, which we just exited, was important. And for some of you, perhaps upcoming August, which is, yeah, to say a full year. I don't want to hear anything about I'm waiting. Don't wait. And for some of you, sooner rather than you expect. Okay. P, N, X, zombie, doing the same thing over and over again, but it was in reverse. We want to get out of that feeling. Uh, the seahorse, the rocking horse, excuse me. That's the, um, the male concept for emotional vulnerability. If you know this about seahorses, the males actually carry the babies. So there's that sense of fragility and carrying all these emotions, but still being masculine. And it's, it's hard, it's hard to open up and um, something like that. The letter O, owl, smart, wisdom, insight, seeking that wisdom, seeking the counsel, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then also the medallion of you, Aries. Okay, I hope this helped you. I do. Complicated as it was, not straightforward as it was, and not necessarily sunshine and rainbows, but it is real, and real respect's real. I respect real, and I hope you do too. It's not easy. A solution will come in time. Just please do not force yourself to put something together because you feel like you're supposed to when you know that your feelings for this have changed and that you know you're that Aries, that low key is always going to hope for something more or wish for something more. Um, or that they'll do something and you know they won't. That kind of thing. For you to do something and you know that you shouldn't, or you're not ready to, to receive it, or prepared to receive it. You know, because then it won't be a friendship, right? It'll be something other than friendship. True friendship is, it connects easily because it's friendship. I don't want you to put yourself in a position where you feel you have to keep anything around just to keep it, because then that's when you become a hoarder, right? You either want something in its full glory, the way it was intended, like this, that's the full glory of it. We couldn't make it happen in reality, so we try to compromise it. We want more. We got a taste of it. We want more, but no, we don't, right? I understand. So you got to ask yourself for a taste good enough for you, because you two have already told me that a taste is not good enough. You want the whole thing, the both of you. But I will say this to this person's credit. They, they do say they're able to work through whatever this is with you, their personal love for you aside. Which is interesting. I don't know that you can do that. And again, it's not a challenge. It'll take it as one. You have to know that. Anyway, that's enough. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.